Here's how to mix Payne's Gray using the original colors. I'm using Prussian Blue, Permanent Alizarin Crimson, and Yellow Ochre. Okay, so it's not 100% accurate. The original Payne's Gray used Crimson Lake, which is a fugitive color and is known to fade. So I've replaced that with Permanent Alizarin Crimson, which is a similarly cool red. If you mix the three colors together, you can get different variations. You can shift it from lighter to darker, you can give it a more purple tint, or you can give it a more blue tint. And the more pigment you add, the darker the color will be. Payne's Gray is named after English painter William Payne, who painted and taught in the late 17 and early 1800s. I posted a video yesterday that I'll link here, and that's also in my color mixing playlist, showing my favorite way to mix Payne's Gray. And here are two strips of the manufactured Payne's Gray, which includes black compared to the one that I just mixed. What do you think?